Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to have you here. So for today's tutorial, we'll be learning how to cut a uh, 180 flay. 180 flay. I have videos that I've uploaded on my channel on how to cut your 360s, 720 and the rest of it. I think the one that is yet for me to upload is the 180 flay. So that's what we'll be doing today. You can head over to the description box and watch um, and you see the link to the other videos on how to on how to calculate and cut your 360 720 and so on so that's so for today's tutorial we'll be learning how to calculate and cut the 180 flay we all know that the circumference of a cycle is 360 and half of 360 is 180 okay so let's say um the ways that will be the ways that we'll be using is um, let's say 28 28 and we need about um, let's say 2 inch for seam allowance which will give us a total of 30 and then we want the length of our flay to be um, 6 inches and 6 inches you know we need uh, half inches to join the upside to uh, for the upper side that that's to join the upper part of the flay to the uh, to where you're going to, to attach it and then half an um, inch for the down part that's to hem the down part so basically we need one inch seam allowance so what we are going to do is six that's the actual length plus one inch seam allowance half for the upper part and half for the down part which is a total of seven so that's that. Like I said earlier, the uh, circumference of a cycle, it's um, um, 360. That's this formula, circumference of a cycle, you know, 2 pi r. That's where this formula came from, 6.28. This 6.228, but this is just for um, the 360. So what we are going to do is to divide, since it's half of 360, which is 1, it will divide this formula by 2. Just know this formula, 6.28, that's just, just know it. You don't have to, you know, bust your brain in, like, calculating how to get um, um, the, the number and so on. Just know this, know this number, 6.28. It's 2 pi, which is 2 times 22 all, all over 7, 6.28. So 6.28 divided by 2 is equals to um, 3.14. So what we are going to do is to, to get the radius of what we are going to use for a waste of 30. That's including this um, same allowance. What we will have now is 30 divided by 3.14. And 30 divided by 3.14 is going to give us um, about, let's say, 9.55. So we can round it off to 9.5, which is... 9.5 and then so the radius that, that we're using is 9.5 so to know the exact fabric we need to cut out in order to avoid wasting our fabric what you do is to add the radius to the length so the radius 9.5 plus length 7 will then give us um 9.5 plus 7 is going to give us 16.5 16.5 so this 16.5 now you can actually one you should know that this 16.5 we can also go ahead to i will tell you why i'm the multiplying by 2 16.5 times 2 is equals to 33 33 so how we are going to cut it is that the the wideness of the fabric that we are going to cut it will be 33 why the um, length is going to be um 16.5 by this i mean let me turn over here for the fabric that we are going to cut let's say what we actually need is here from here to here will be 33 and then from here to here will be um 16.5 so when you cut this out then fold you are going to fold it once when you fold it half um once that that's you fold it you are going to get half of 33 which is 16.5 so that's that 
and i'll be using the pattern paper to show you how to do it just assuming that this is your fabric what you need to do is like we said from here to here 33 and then here should be 16.5 so let's cut this one first 33 So we have our 33 yeah i hope you can see it's 33 here yeah. this is very very important so that you don't get to waste your fabric unnecessary i hope you can see it. i've marked 33 here yeah, yeah. and so the whiteness like i said is 16.5 16.5 16.5 we can just make it let's say 17 so this is it at least from this you know exactly what you need to cut out from your fabric it is very very important to avoid wasting the fabric so what we basically need is just from here to here so i'm going to rule it for you to see what you need to cut out from your fabric so this part this part where i ruled you can see it from here to here is basically what you need to cut out from your fabric you can see we have okay as we that this is your fabric now if you decide to fold it just like that and start cutting you are going to waste this and you are likely might use it for something so you see the importance so this is what you just need to cut out from your fabric so I'll go ahead and cut. So after folding it, so what you do is to take um, the radius, and your radius we calculated was our radius was. was 9.5 9.5 so that's what we are going to mark you start from here and mark 9.5 round So the next is the length of the flay. You know the um, length of the flay is six. This is a one inch seam allowance. So what we are going to do now is to just mark the six inch. Then I will tell us how to, you know, perfectly add a uh, um, seam allowance to the flay. So that's it. I hope you understand. The actual length of the flay is six. So that's what we are going to do now. Then later I will tell us how to add the one inch seam allowance. So six, you have to start marking six from here. Six, I might not get a perfect, you know, my curve will, will not be perfect. So what I will do is to start from the tip. And starting from the tip, I have to add this plus the six. So 9.5 plus six is 15.5. 15.5. Fifteen point five. So when I might know the nine point five, I'll have my six. So that's that. So the next is to add the one inch seam allowance. So what I normally do is to add half inch here and half inch here, which is a total of one inch seam allowance but you can just go ahead and just mark the seven you know mark it including your one inch allowance straight but if you want it to be you know perfect the way it should be is half inch here and half inch here since you are joining this and then hemming this so what i'll do is to mark half inch you see it i've added a half inch here and half inch here like I said earlier, take note that you can actually go ahead and mark everything at once. The difference will not be much. It will not be much. 
So what you do is to just to go ahead and cut So this is your 180 thing. So this is 180 It's actually half of a cycle. So that's that. I hope you learned something from this video. If you learned something, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share with your friend. And if you're yet to subscribe, please subscribe so that you're not the you know miss left behind or miss out on uh upcoming videos. So till I come your way next time, do have a lovely day. Bye-bye.